Hello YouTube, this is Chessers for Time Saving Pickets. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, in this set of tutorials, we're going to be working with the new uh, Outroid uh, from Hard Kernel. It's the Outroid N2. I've been waiting to get my hands on one of these for a while since they uh, announced that it was coming. And if you want to know more about it, besides the 4 gigabytes of RAM, uh, it tells you here about uh, it's an ARM Cortex architecture and it's, uh, it comes with a GPU. And I think it will you will be able to put Vulkan on it. That's what they have said. Uh, and there's the, the R4 RAM running at 1320 megahertz at 1.2 volts. That is impressive. So for uh, such a small board, it is very very powerful especially to deal with some of the algorithms that we work with in this tutorial i'm just going to show you how to put a ubuntu an ubuntu image on it and uh, let's get started so the first thing you need to do is get an image so you need to go to this page right here and it's going to have this is the one that i downloaded the mate desktop with ubuntu 18.04 so once you hit enter here, it's going to bring you to a download, to the server's download page. So me, I'm in the East Coast, so I'm going to use this link. But if you're in the West Coast of the US, it's that one. If you're in Europe, it's that one. If you're in Asia, it's that one. So now I'm going to choose that one, click on it. It's going to bring me to an index. These are all older, they're from March. If you want something recent, more more recent, these are like uh, from July. So I'm just gonna choose the latest one, save it into a file, into your downloads, and then you can move it. In my case, I moved, I'm not gonna hit enter because I already have it. And remember, look at uh, the name. You gotta remember this because this is very important. It's an uh, image IMG XZ file. Those are a little bit more difficult to extract. So remember that. So now we downloaded our image and now we're going to extract that image. So in order to extract it, I'm gonna show you the command here. And let me close this so you don't get confused. And it's this one and that one. So let's get, if this is the command right here. You have to use sudo. So it's sudo xc-d, name of the image, whatever it is in your case. In your case, it might be different from mine. So that's all you need to do. Once you do sudo, it's going to take a few minutes to extract and uh, it will extract it you can also use xvjf and it might work but in my case i use xz if you're having problems uh you might you know if you keep trying to open it extract it and it keeps giving you an error just use this command file and then the name of the image and then it will tell you. In my case, it happened to me. Uh, it was an incomplete download and it had some HTML on it and it was corrupt. It's, it was not valid. So I had to download it again. So just use that and it will tell you. Okay. So, okay. So now we're ready. We have our image. And this is the image right here. We already extracted it. In your case, like I said, it's going to be different. Don't worry about this. It's got nothing to do with us. It's something else. So now let's work with our SD card. Let me close these. So and let's just keep our sheet here and then and cover it so you don't read it. And, and it's instead of uh listening to me so this is very important this step right here so uh, be very careful because you might damage your system if you're not careful so i'm going to i have a 
32 gigabytes SD card that I was using it for something else and I'm going to format it. So I'm going to show you how to format it so you can use it. So I have it on an SD card reader and I'm now I'm going to connect it into my computer and you're going to see it popping up right there. There they are. And I'm going to close it. And there they are. To, don't worry about this volume. This is it's a 32 gigabytes uh, computer, uh, SD card, sorry. So now what you need to do is, before you format it, you need to unmount it. So how do we know if they're mounted or not? All you need to do is DFH, and there they are. So you know they're mounted. So they're on the SDE in devices SDE1 and devices SDE2. So I need to unmount these two guys right here. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to do sudo unmount or you mount. And then the path to the SD card. And remember, in your case, it might be different. Uh, in your case, it might not be SDE. So don't don't just do what I'm doing here blindly. You have to find out what yours is. So you mount as dev SDE one, and now unmount SDE two. We check now to make sure that they were unmounted. So we go enter again, let me open here a little bit. And you can see that they're gone. I mean, they're still there, but they're unmounted. So now we can format them. So this is the command that we're gonna be using to format them. It's uh, MKFS uh, FAT32 we're gonna use, dash V and then the path to the SD card, just like we did there. So. Let's do it. So let's just copy, paste, and then the path, which it was dev SD1, SD1. I think, I wonder if, if it does both of them. You gotta just do SD. And yeah, I gotta use override. I forgot. I, and then that will do the entire device. So you just go SDE, and there you go. So I'm doing both at the same time. So now, if you want to know, one way to find out what is going on is two ways. You can use Gparted, or you can use FDisk. I'm going to show you how to do both. So let's do sudo g part it and if you don't have this all you need to do is sudo app get installed g part it and i already have it it's right there so to use i'm just gonna use sudo g part it and it's going to open this nice graphical user interface be very very careful right here that guy right there, that's my main one. You don't want to play with that one. And in that one right there is my backup. So this is the one that I'm working with. So don't touch those. That's why I'm using the, I'm showing you the graphical user interface so you can clearly see it. Right now, this is what's going on in my SDA2. This is what's going on in my SDB2 which is my backup and if I want to this is my card right there it's not 32 it's 2955 because some other stuff is used for some other stuff so that's the one that I'm working with and as you can see it's there and there's completely right now there's nothing in it okay so we know that we formatted it and we're ready to work with it. So now, what are we going to do? 
Now that you've formatted, oh, uh, before that, I'm going to show you now how to use FDisk. Same thing that we did with GPotter, but now using FDisk is FDisk L. And same thing again, it's going to show you uh, right here. It's going to show you the first volume, second volume, third volume, just like GPotter did. Just like G part it did, but this is using the terminal. Okay, so as you can see, same thing. So now let's clear. Be very, very careful here. I, I keep telling you that I'm sorry, but I things can go wrong very quickly if you do not if you are not careful here. So now we're gonna use duplicate. Uh, it's, it's called DD. It's a duplication program. So we're going to. This is what we're going to do. We're going. We're telling it Ubuntu, or we're telling Linux to take the image here that is that one right there because we're in the same directory. We're going to the directory now. That's why I told you to create that directory, and it's going to take that image and put it on SDE. That's what we're doing. That's all we're doing. So let's do the command. Just copy and paste. It's got to be, remember, in your case, it might be different. So don't just follow blindly. Pay attention to what your device names are. Paste. And, and hit enter. And 4M, it has to be capital. Linux cares about that stuff. And hit enter. And it's going to take a little bit to, because it's duplicating. It's taking that image and just putting it in, into, the, into the SD card that is in the SD card reader. This is the same thing that you would be doing in Windows using the Win32 imager, I believe, uh, that people do all the time when they're working with Raspberry Pi. Here you're doing it in Linux. It's a lot easier, just faster. Um, like everything in Linux, it's just easier or faster. So it's taking a little bit uh, time. Don't be impatient. It might take a little bit. I wanted to work with step-by-step uh, step because this is very important. If you make a mistake, it can, it can cost us dearly. So let's wait a little bit. Um, it should be almost ready. What can we be doing in the meantime? Let me see here. Well, we already did that. We did that. We did that. So... Erase this, not to confuse you. And we're still waiting on this guy to be done. And the image is about 1.2 gigabytes, I think. So it might take a little bit. Um, I, don't, I don't remember how long it took me the first time. But I might have to pause the video, not to make you waste your time. Let me pause the video. Welcome back. I'm glad that I stopped the video because it took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. So finally it did it. And now we got to do sync to synchronize. And that's it. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to, you're going to see that this is going to be gone. I'm going to unplug my SD card reader, remove the SD card, and put it in my Odroid. As you can see, I took it out. And now I'm going to put it on my Odroid. 
and I cannot show you I cannot show you because uh, I cannot record from both places but I created a video that I'm gonna be showing you so I'm gonna stop the video and, and show you that again so so I can let me stop it so I can show you the video welcome back and now i'm ready to show you my video right now i'm in the outroid uh, directory but now i you have to cd to where i have my video it's called my video dash 2 mkv format so just do enter and zero so it plays on top of this one that i'm doing now and there is the video and that's the SD card right there. This is your uh, Ethernet, your HDMI, two USBs, two USBs, and your power supply. I'm gonna show you there are four USB threes. And now the thing to do is uh, we're going to hook our HDMI. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna do a mouse or a keyboard just an HDMI so I can show you and the power you're gonna get a red light but we're looking for a blue light if we see a blue there you go if you see that blue light you know the system is booting and everything is working right and if it starts blinking you're golden that means that's a very good sign that everything is working and if we switch the screen now to my other screen i want to show you the the ubuntu mate or ubuntu mate uh, load up the first page that you will get when you get the system going and i'm gonna move it and there it is that's your ubuntu Mate Outroid. Remember, password is Outroid. Username is Outroid. And once you get in there, you're ready to go. So I'm going back to my screen because I cannot be in two screens at once. But this is the uh, the end uh, of this tutorial. If everything worked out, I hope you were successful, and uh, I hope uh, that. Uh, you you were able to install i know it, it took a while but uh, hopefully you you got to this point i'm going to include all the instructions in the bottom of this video and uh, this is the end of this tutorial if you like this tutorial please click the like box subscribe to my channel follow me on github and twitter and i will see you next time with another tutorial take care